What's up everybody, Alex Ramuda here. Um, today we're gonna talk about Driveline Pulse and how we use it, um, what it is, um, who we use it with, and then the future of where we feel like um, it can be beneficial for us. Um, and then everybody as a whole, really. Um, so what it is, it's a strap here um, that you can put on your arm. Um, and then within that strap, you put a sensor in. Um, and then it comes with an app um, that's easily um, downloadable. And then from there, it spits out information in real time really quick so it doesn't disturb the rhythm of, um, of your pace of play. Um, so let's go ahead and put it on together. So this arrow is really important. It's really small, that down arrow. Uh, make sure that it um, coincides with this down arrow. So you just strap it in here. And for the most part, it's pretty easy to put in. Um, and so if I'm left-handed, so I'd put it on my left arm. Um, so you just loop this strap through. And then from here, it's a little bit tricky to put it on by yourself. Um, but here you put it two finger lengths or two, uh, yeah, two finger lengths below this little bone right here on your elbow. Um, and then you can strap it on. And Driveline does sell individual straps. Um, we might be able to, we might have to buy another one soon just because the Velcro is starting to wear off, um, which is a good feature to be able to do. Um, but now from there, that's how you put it on. And so, and it doesn't fall off. Um, it's pretty seamless to use. Um, unless one thing we ran into is a few people too, really, um, when they put it on, when they're really sweaty, it, it can slide down. But um, for two people, that's okay. Um, and for the majority of people, it works really well and stays on pretty well. Um, and so what we use it for is to measure um, total throws. And so from here, you can look on here, it can, mine's at zero because I haven't done any throwing today. Um, here, right here, it gives you total throws and then um, the high volume throws and then your arm torque. Um, and then from there can map out what you can, what your intent or your volume is over the course of time, over the course of many months. And then up here, you can look at your acute to chronic ratio after a certain point. Um, and the algorithm spits out what um, it believes you should be at over time, but it needs to collect data and you need to use it um, for a certain amount of days to, for it to be able to collect that data. Um, so from there, uh, when we use it is, and who we use it for is with pitchers and positional players. Um, and really positional players, there's not a ton of research on them um, and building up throwing fitness um, within using driveline pulse. So we really feel like it could be beneficial uh, for positional players who are willing to work through driveline pulse and use it and, and buy into it. Um, so for let's go with pitchers right now. Um, so pitchers being able to use it, I liken it to a Carfax report. So if in the future, and I'm also talking about the future as well, um, scouts could ask or coaches could ask if you're being recruited, like, hey, can you show me your pulse information? And then you can show them kind of what your habits are. What do you do um, throughout the week to be able to prepare for a start that you actually know about? Um, so if you have a start Friday on Monday, what is, if you have a low intensity day, what does that look like? What does it look like on a medium intensity day, high intensity day, pull down day, long toss day, bullpen day? What's your volume of throws? What's your plan in which you're gonna attack in order to be ready on that, um, that next start? Um, so then from there, uh, for a pitcher, this gives uh, validity to what you're actually doing. So if you're supposed to do a low intensity day, what does the volume look like within that? And then depending on other variables, um, like during the summer, it gets really hot. So you might need to back down from a high intensity day if necessary, but if you're able to, um, if you feel good and you're able to um, go back to back high level days, maybe that works for you. But this gives a number to which what your total throws are. Um, and then you can really depend on this pulse to be able to help you. You don't have to count yourself as to what you're doing throwing wise. Um, so I really like the car fact report type thinking and 
being able to use that and it shows scouts and coaches that you're really invested in kind of how you go about your business day in and day out, not just on game days. And you're able to um, think through things on your own. Um, um, so also, and I already touched on this, it gives a player the ability to, and the opportunity to learn about their own habits. Um, and also diving into this more, what we have done at AP and how we've used it in some of the player feedback is, um, one thing that's really interesting is that um, some of our players haven't really bought into it as much, simply because I feel like it's not mainstream yet. And I really do feel like it's gonna become mainstream within um, the next few months and years. Uh, but not many players are seen wearing the strap on um, on the field or in throwing in between games and at practice, um, so on and so forth and et cetera. Um, so with that being said, I feel like creating buy-in here and giving this um, strap time and this information time is gonna be um, is gonna be feasible moving forward. And I look forward to kind of seeing where that goes over time. Um, but then going over like specifically bullpens later in season, just to specifically look at um, how to utilize driveline pulse, like bullpens later in season, if you need to be able to make a plan, because the plan won't go through the same throughout the whole season. So for example, later in season, um, if you get a little bit more worn down, maybe you can use pulse to kind of give yourself the numbers and what you actually are doing and able to understand what you need to be doing later in season to be able to get ready for start day. Um, that's just another example that popped in my head as to how you can use Pulse. Um, so yeah, those are a, that's a lot of the things that we've been thinking about and implementing and understanding and helping our players understand. Um, so, and I also touched on, I'm reading off my notes here, um, some of the problems we faced within that. So those are some of our overlying thoughts of Dropline Pulse, and we look forward to using it and having the evolution of the Pulse system um, be more mainstream within um, positional players and pitchers overall.